Uh, my name is Dr. Irfan Bashir. I'm a radiation oncologist by profession. So today we'll be discussing about lung cancer. So I'll be giving a brief uh, account about the lung cancer. What's the what are the signs and symptoms the patient presents with, and uh, what is the treatment, and what are the preventive measures that we can do uh, for preventing lung cancer. So first, let me tell you about the incidence. So lung cancer is the commonest cancer among males as well as females. So the and the commonest cause of lung cancer is smoking. So earlier, uh, lung cancer was more common in men, and in women we had the breast cancer, which was at number one. But now in women we have lung cancer again at number one position because uh, the smoking is very common in women as well. So in addition to smoking, there are other risk factors like you know asbestos, radon, exposure to pollutants that are responsible for causing lung cancer. Uh, once once a patient comes uh, to us uh, with all these symptoms the preliminary uh, the diagnosis or the investigation that we do include a complete uh, blood count including a liver function test a kidney function test and a specific uh, investigation like a CCT of the thorax and then we also do a CCT of the abdomen to rule out distant meds and nowadays we have a PET scan which is a single investigation that you know uh, investigates the entire body including the lungs and the other organs as well and we need to establish the tissue diagnosis for a tissue diagnosis we either do a bronchoscopy and a biopsy and uh, you, we, you know for peripheral lesions we can do a CT guided biopsy as well once the diagnosis is established then we go to the treatment part the treatment of lung cancer is you know it's a multi-modality treatment so lung cancer Patients can be treated with surgery, with radiotherapy, as well as with chemotherapy, or a combination of uh, any of these. So, depending on the stage and what what the symptoms the patient has, we have a, a radiotherapy, which is the radiation oncology, and then we have the chemotherapy, which is done by a medical oncologist, and then we have the surgery, which is done by a surgical oncologist. The surgery that's usually done includes pneumonectomies or lobectomies. The chemotherapeutic agents that are used in addition to the routine chemotherapeutic agents nowadays we have a targeted therapies as well as the immunotherapies which have shown excellent results in lung cancer and as far as radiation oncology is concerned we have uh, in addition to the 3D and the IMRT, IGRT uh, the techniques we have the gating as well because you know lung uh, tumors are there moving tumors and we track the tumors while we are treating them. And uh, as far as the you know uh, prevention part is concerned, so the only thing I would suggest, and I would uh, you know as a part of our awareness and com campaigns which we usually do, the only thing we tell to patients is quit smoking. So that's that's very very important because if we quit smoking, patients you know the general public quit smoking, the burden of the lung cancer will drastically you know decrease. Thank you so much.